Whether uniting as a team or going solo against the world, these players compete in the highest level of professional gaming. They are victors of the mind game, players that possess the X factor when performing in front of thousands. Their names are remembered in the Pro Gaming Hall of Fame. These are the icons of esports. Meet German born World of Warcraft arena player Rene Pinkira, better known to the WoW community as the talented Swapsy. This skillful star behind many of the game's classes and specs discovered the popular MMORPG a few weeks before its second expansion, The Burning Crusade. And like millions of players worldwide, he was immediately captivated by the game's fantasy open world. Prior to the Burning Crusade expansion, Battlegrounds were the only means of player versus player action. With the release of the World of Warcraft Arena, players had to rethink everything they had learned over the past few years. With only a small number of players in a much smaller playable zone, class synergy, talents and gear became more important than ever. The arena required a new way of thinking and opened up a world of theory crafting and exploits to ensure your team's victory. Swapsy was one of those players who wanted more. Flying the flag for Team I'm Just Being Honest, Swapsy and teammates Botar and Bluckstack attended their first World Championship in 2012, a grand 189,000 US dollar event live from Shanghai. The team did not qualify for the semi finals bracket. As the second European seed heading into the BlizzCon finals, the trio had a lot to prove on the main stage against some of the harshest threes teams on the planet. Swapsy and his team finished in fifth place. 2015 was a massive year for Swapsy. Hailing under the banner of European esports organization SK Gaming, Swapsy and Botar began their road to BlizzCon alongside Italy's Fabs and England's Joe Fernandez. The newly formed team won the European Regional Championship and earned their tickets to Anaheim for the BlizzCon World Finals. It was there that they turned heads in front of a roaring BlizzCon crowd. SK Gaming defeated rival European team Skillcapped EU in a vicious Game 5 tiebreaker. With 28% dampening, Skillcap's Raikou bit the dust. Swapsy's enhancement shaman persevered and through it all became a BlizzCon champion. Swapsy gets the block up from Raikou, but Skillcap you are running low on cooldowns and running low on time. They are up against the wall right now. Swapsy though, getting down super low here. Down to 10% health for the second. The ice level is coming out, they're turning it around. One question. If you got one word to describe how you're feeling right now, what is it? Uh, earlier today I said it's either going to be the best day of my life or the worst. Luckily, it's the best day now. The following World of Warcraft Arena season, Swapsy, Botar and Fabs made a pact to compete together once more. Only this time wearing the yellow and black colours of renowned esports brand Splice. The team went to another glorious BlizzCon World Finals as Europe's second seed. It didn't take long for the reigning champions to become the tournament favourites. In seven brutal games, Swapsy's Enhancement Shaman felt the heartache of a loss and the glory of a victory in the many arenas of the Grand Final. Method NA, the best there was in the esports North American scene, were eager to earn the trophy and BlizzCon title. With no cooldowns remaining, Team Healer Sidu was focused down by Swapsy and Fabs. A final elimination on their road to becoming back to back Arena World Champions. Silence on the Botar, they're still looking to finish up. Botar reverses it with the Avenger Crusader, and now Sidu. Sidu has nothing. Both Paladins are on the rope. Are they going to pull this off? Botar's not able to dispel, but he uses his bubble. He will be safe inside of that. Now Sidu is in trouble. Bloodlust gets popped. This place are looking to turn this around. It blows it. The now two-time champion snapped up the royal take in a quarter of a million American dollars and continued their legacy as the greatest WoW Arena team to have ever touched the game. Hanging up their splice boots, Swampsy, Botar and Fabs were recruited by Method to lead their European Arena division. 
Joined by Slovakian DPS player Blizzo, the new method Triforce squad claimed victories at the third and fourth European Arena Cups, as well as a first place finish at the European Championship Finals. However, they were beaten out by NA's Panda Global in the Arena World Championship semi-finals, three games to one. Several top place finishes at Fall, Summer and Spring Cups were claimed as Swapsy found his new home with Method Black. Chaz, Raikou and Waz completed the ultimate WoW Arena Dream Team, but they were beaten out by the Gosu crew in the Arena World Championship 2018 Losers Finals. 2019, however, was a different story. Swapsy and the rest of the Method Black Army secured their position at BlizzCon after a win at the Summer Finals. They held their position in the World Championship upper bracket to eventually face off against hometown rivals Wildcard Gaming. The BlizzCon crowd witnessed greatness as Swapsy's Warlock punished Wildcard alongside his teammates. Subbing out for rogue teammate Waz, Method Black finished the conflict in Game 7's Ruins of Lordaeron, where Swapsy claimed his third BlizzCon trophy. Blizzo in a kidney shot. Do they have the damage to take him down? He's getting low. Oh, Moody oh, to his side. There's no shrinking. Can Method Black do it? Blizzo trying to keep himself alive. He has to die by the sword. Nice cycle by Chaz. There needs to just be a little bit more crowd control on Looney. Then Method Black will close out this game. Adam Master's going to fall. Battle Master's going to fall. Master's gonna fall. Oh, Bob drops. Kidney shot on Blizzo. Massive damage. That day, in front of a massive BlizzCon crowd, Swapsy became one of only two people to have ever won an Arena World Championship title three times over. There is no wonder why he and his Method Arena counterparts are the best there were in the Warcraft Arena. That all changed in October 2020. Following the team's outstanding result in the current World of Warcraft Arena season, Swapsy and Raikou both received a permanent ban from the Arena World Championship, bringing their esports careers to an immediate end. Both players had been found to have broken multiple behaviour rules in the AWC rulebook after a video was posted online containing racial slurs and other indecent language. Swapsy stated in a twit longer post that he knows it was absolutely irresponsible and that he didn't think about the impact of his words and how much they could hurt other people. In these moments, he lost control and said things that he highly regretted. The way he expressed himself does not reflect his attitude and opinions. He understands his mistake and why he received an indefinite ban as a result. Once a king in the WoW arena, Swapsy's actions ended his career with the AWC. The three-time world champion and those he played alongside made countless memories on their way to the top. Memories that the fans will remember. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.